I use Sean? I just, I don't know, like... So this is a thing with playing games on stream. It's if I were playing this game solely for myself, I would start over. But because I'm not, I kind of want to just like own whatever mistakes I've made. Um, Cause there's only really one thing of consequence that I think I might have done differently. But I feel like making possibly a bad choice uh, is not a bad way to play the game. I just, besides, okay, I have to let go. Okay, we're gonna have, we're gonna get real with Lauren here. I have a big problem with perfectionism. And so um, I want to deliver the perfect experience, like the perfect viewing experience for people. And that's not actually good for me. It's not actually gonna happen. I stress out about whether I'm gonna let my viewers down. Um, and I want to like, because people like sometimes expect me to do like the perfect pacifist run or the perfect this or that because they're like, oh, Lauren will find all the things and do all the things because that's who she is. But I make mistakes, I do things inconsistently. I lose my temper. I fail to notice or remember things. Um, and then I stress out about that. So I think it would actually be good for my battle against perfectionism if I say, you know, whatever mistakes I made so far are my mistakes and I've made them. This is not going to be a perfect experience, um, so if you guys are watching and you want me to somehow save everybody through the compassion and goodness of, the, of my heart, and that doesn't happen, I'm just one person, so let's do that. Oh, here I am. Huh? What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if, just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? This is like saying, like, like hi. what if there's some, um, experiment? Secret project? Like what? They finally harnessed the power of... Mind control. Yeah, mind control. And they've, um, made a mind control machine, and, um, and we've all been suffering like a collective mirage. That's... Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? If none of this has happened, it's just some kind of fever dream from an experimental acid trip bomb. High and I don't know about and great, but it'd be nice to know. Hmm. So this feels significantly more intuitive. Uh, on a controller. Because I, I, I did it at the keyboard last night, and I'm not much of a keyboard player anyway. I am, just so you know, really nervous about this section. Oh, I'm going to have to use the radio. Whenever there's a weird blinking light, it means I'm going to have to use the radio for something. I'm doing all right. I'm, this game is really scary. Um, or at least it's sort of scary. It's scary enough for me to be scared of it. So. Yeah, no, it is way better on a controller. That would actually probably- Clarissa! Where are you? Clarissa! Oh, forget it. Oh, when I start calling out, then forget it. Haha. <laughs> okay, your voice is a little annoying when you yell, but that's not why I said forget it.
Let's investigate a little bit more here. Oh, geez. Um, can I interact with that? Clarissa, I'm at the beach. Nona. That doesn't sound good. I want to go up to this. Because I get the feeling this is going to be important. How do I... It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? No. Oh, jeez. Wait. What? All oh. Right. I know the answer is no, but we kind of <laughs> do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio man for the door. Oh, I was going to say something. I don't like... I. Cause I, I want to hear what he says, so I don't want to interrupt him, but by the time he finishes saying, I no longer have something... Uh. <sighs> Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Oh, they're not messing around. Does the fine print say so? Uh, don't worry about it. Kids do this all the time. The worst that happens is you snag yourself on a no. nail or something and have to go get a tetanus shot. This is not gonna be good. was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School, which saw more than 100,000 students That's take its curriculum. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking okay. using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, That's and it still yeah. resides there to this day. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School. Oh my goodness, what are these over here? Hey Nick. Firing range? Spooky. Yeah. Uh, Have you ever fired a gun? I don't no. like that. Never really wanted to either. Yeah, me neither. My grandfather had a a snub nosed centennial. Even small, they're heavy. I never liked it. I did finish Majora's Mask. I finished it two weeks ago. Are you still stuck under there, Mr. Jonas? I don't like the fact that this like we can still tell what that is, because it looks like somebody's been here shooting in relatively recent time. Oh man. Coming soon, military museum, huh? See that sign? They were originally gonna make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very, uh, safe, so I can understand why. Yeah, I don't like the pacing on the dialogue. I don't like that I have to choose a dialogue option that's gonna cut off the conversation. All right. Yeah, that's what I figured. I enjoyed Majora's Mask quite a bit. In fact, I did a whole um, post-game. Uh, I worked on some fan art and talked about what I thought of the game and what I... I had various theories about it and stuff like that. So if you, uh, if you want, I do have that up on my YouTube channel and um, my VODs video on demand. 
I guess I have to do this, guys. I don't want to, but I want to save my friend. <sighs> if this is going to be a survival horror, like, torture facility. Hey, Dread Killer. Yeah, so, so what's going on is, um, if you want to play this game yourself, you should probably go play this game yourself instead of, um, Yes, I did serious things. Somebody sent me a lovely card and a copy of Majora's Mask. Um, yeah, no, I know Kuneka, but sometimes I would want to say something and I'm wanting to, to hear things. So I'm trying to have three conversations at once and my brain is something up, but you've distracted me away from the sense of dread. Um, but yeah, no, if you want to play this game yourself, I would recommend you do it. Otherwise, we can kind of talk about what you missed last time. Um, I can recap really quickly about what we're doing as well as I can tell what's going on and my theory about what's going on. Um, yeah, I know she does that sometimes, which I appreciate, but sometimes she cuts them off and I'm like, but I want to know what was being said. Um, but I guess I'm going to have to get used to the fact that I don't always get that. Um, oh man, I'm tired, Lauren. Um, but yeah, no, people have been really awesome and Majora's Mask was super awesome. Okay, well, Dread Killer, okay, well, what you missed is, so I'm this, this green-haired girl who looks kind of like Terra from Final Fantasy VI, and we're all, me and my friends are all in high school, um, and so this, this dude right here is my new stepbrother, our parents just got married, um, and me and some of my idiot friends came to this island to party, I guess, um, except we're not very good at it, and we don't like each other, um, so my stepbrother decided to go wandering off in a cave, and so... We're like, I think we're in the modern era, but it has a very 80s feel, and we've got this radio because there's some sort of thing with radio secret communications in this used to be a military base island. Um, we accidentally triggered um, things with our radio because, like, there, so there was a there was a submarine that by unphobic. There was a there was a submarine that went down and like a oh, hundred people died um, way back when like decades ago, um, but then like so there's all these pieces and then your radio starts picking up like you can pick up bits of what sounds like communication but you can't understand it. Um, yeah, see, like my high school experience was different because it was just me and my loser friends being loser friends together, but we were like actually friends. So I this this is not my experience in high school. Um, but yeah, so we, um, so we like activated this thing, this portal thing with the radio and triangles are significant and that it seems to like open up communication with some, something, some voice that is using radio like recordings to try to communicate with us and we got, we all got teleported and split up and then we're trying to tell our friends to not die. We just went and we saved one of my other friends, um, who is, and though sometimes we do this thing where like we like flip back in time and sometimes we do that a few times and you have to do this thing to kind of put the radio to rest. Um, it's weird. It's really weird. Yeah, a lot of people have compared her to Chloe from Life is Strange, which I will never know because I'm never gonna play that game. Um, but I, yeah, so, so we saved. Here we go, okay. So we saved Ren. Oh, did help Clarissa get scratched out? Are you serious? What? Why is it scratched out? Oh, geez. Oh, there's just um, something that happens in Life is Strange that I don't, I can't handle in media, so I don't want to do that. So, that's not good. Well. We're going to do this. Oh, God. Please don't be survival horror. Please don't be survival horror. If you're survival horror, this is going to be the shortest stream ever. Oh, 
going. No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just... What sort of thing? What do you mean? You know, like, intense, I guess is the word I'm trying to find. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just, what would a guy like that see in her? What? Like, at least at the start. Look, Jonas. Girls go for assholes, and guys go for psychos for the same stupid reason. They're interesting. For a while. But that crap gets old fast. Huh. Okay. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. What's your type? Blonde, right? Nose ring? <laughs> no, no. Tall, brunette, maybe a big hat, red oh, raincoat, he likes Carmen San Diego. lots of mystique, been around the world. <laughs> Subscribing Carmen San Diego. Oh, yeah. You know, that kind of explains a lot. I just had a bonding moment with this game. <laughs> at this moment that that just happened. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, well that was some well-timed comic relief. Dude, wait, no, dude, no. Holy crap, I don't think... Ah, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of... I don't know. Kind of morbid. Yeah, it's... It's just strange to see it like this. Stuff like this, I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like... I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so... Oh, jeez. Don't talk like that. Oh, wait, wait. In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. This door. It sounds like somebody's knocking at a door. <gasps> That's... Clarissa! Clarissa, hold up! Oh, jeez. Jonas, what happened? Are, are you alright? Jonas, can you hear me? That's not good. That's not good at all. <gasps> I don't think that the creatures want to kill us. I think that they want out. Oh. Oh. The unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941. A state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. I ask that the Congress declare that since the unprovoked... Right. Testing, testing, um, okay. I can't. 
I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Oh, wait. Ow. I'm okay. Uh, oh, God, no. You know, I thought it was dark out there, but let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, gets a lot darker. He got hurt. Yeah, you know, I never wanted to be a DJ. Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... What? Okay, what just happened? Cause that, that sucked. It's a, I guess a one-way lock? I just was, one thing would work here like anything works out in the real world. That was my friend, uh, Brendan, the writer there. Like, so you have different oh, plays of the game. Oh, here's a padlock code, 3418. It's on a list of, huh, they call codes cookies. Can you remember 3418 for me? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture. It seems alright now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Okay. He when he said ow, I was like, oh my god, are you gonna get tetanus and or turn into a zombie or a werewolf? I love how like awkwardly she walks. Just in case there's something else we can do here. No. But it does show like walkie talkie and a clock. And there's definitely one of those spirits here with the red eyes. Yeah, so Foxhound um, is actually one of my mods. Um, that's my friend Brendan, um, who who has played this game, and he was actually talking to me about this game earlier today. So that is exactly what the reflection said. Huh. Okay, so now I can actually see that there's graffiti here. All right. Three, four, eighteen, and voila! Who's that? What? Maybe... maybe it wasn't anything. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. No, that's not the right response. I should not have picked that response. No, we're gonna- oh! Oh, that- that painting moved! That painting moved! It totally moved! We're gonna go look at it now. At least I don't think that it was there, and now I have the option to look at it. Radio locks. The technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. That wasn't there before as an option. Is this what you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. You think maybe, uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything? It was locked, remember? How could she have gotten in? Same way I did. But then I don't really know how she could have gotten out. Huh. I hear a bit of radio stuff. I just have to look and see if there's anything else that's like, that I've missed. There's an opportunity to fix what's broken in this world. I can fix what's broken in a, in a fake game world, right? Right? Sometimes? Maybe? 
So that moved before I freed Jonas. Okay. Have we been through that room up there? Ah. Let me go up here. Okay, no. Looks like that's it. Comforting? No, that's really not comforting. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought Oh my I god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. Oh dear. I'll force it out fast. I cannot at all believe you right now. Don't look at me. I know the uh, acoustics are really <laughs> carrying it. Sorry. That was... They're really... They know you need comic belief. They know you need it. And I appreciate that they're giving it to me. He volunteered for Clarissa. Service. Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? She knows it's us. I don't think she'd be freaking out like this if she wasn't, like, in trouble or something. You know, it just occurred to me she could also be having, like, a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. But Ren. Ren acted like he was underwater. Guy could barely move. Yeah, well, that's true. Hello? Is this thing, is this, God, is this, is this going out, or, wait, I can, ugh, oh, I can hear myself, that's oh, not, Oh, man, maybe God, she didn't does, see does anybody... us, I don't know, but, whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. Oh, jeez. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't just say your friends do this for my own peace of mind? What was that? You... you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. Probably. Oh wait, hang on. This this is the sign of a thing. Charlie Six. Charlie Every Six. Every individual it is maintained is enveloped in a radius, invisible to the carnal eye, and only perceived by the soul accustomed to it. This is the other, the second voice. He said, just as guilty, and I'm making an example of you. It just said six. Hold on. Does that mean that I've missed two anomalies? Let's do this. It's not opening. <sighs> Clarissa! I'm worried. Something must be really wrong. 
Clarissa's a lot of things, but she wouldn't do whatever this is. We can't leave until she shows us where that radio is. I know it's annoying, but it's our only hope for getting us out of here so far. Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? No. Uh. What is it doing? Oh my god, are you- Young man? No! Be sharp and listen, no. mister. No. No. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Uh, this this isn't how you play hangman. Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a U.S. Army Radio Communication School? That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good soldier? Why do you care what I want or don't want or anything? I didn't come here for this. Yeah, we really, really didn't come here for this. Why should we care? They didn't care. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh. I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Oh my god, are you serious? Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. know that? This isn't uh, World War II. Nine. Nobody you call, call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Okay, look, is this a trick? Is whatever I'm gonna say gonna bite me in the ass Good no matter kid. what? Because if that's the case, then... Watch your language, young lady. There's no room for sass in the armed forces. <sighs> whatever. We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. Other ships. Eighty-five? Correct. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. Please let my friend go. I didn't need to get that far. I have a really good memory sometimes. You notice that I round up and say that about a hundred people died? Because I remember that it was 85 plus 12. <laughs> This worked last time. It had better work this time. This worked last time. Out. 
do not. <sighs> They're underwater. You hear that? The United States submarine Kanaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near... Is this... Are you the dead That's what I figured. ...that sunk on the Kanaloa? We... ...are... Uh, ...sunken. What... ...what do you want? For the first time... ...for the first time... ...for the first time... ...time... ...just... What? I... that was... not fun. Are you... feeling... better? I'm feeling... let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This oh, is just unbelievable. Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. So that's the way to go. So I got that anomaly. Well, we're gonna go back. Or we're gonna go on and get her. Well. That was a little intense, but I feel slightly less afraid because it worked last time. Which does not necessarily actually mean we're gonna be okay this time. But it makes Carissa's. me- Asleep right now. Are you still so as not to wake her? Um. Uh, huh? That is not good. That is not good. I mean, I'm not the hugest fan of her, but. Cross your fingers. Jeez. We're gonna do this. Uh, Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call. Uh, don't okay, don't even start, Clarissa. We came. We're here. Be happy. All right, don't get all, you know, but be honest. Did you come because I needed help, or did you come because there was a radio? Um, Clarissa. I want to hear it from Alex. <sighs> yes, of course, Clarissa. I really don't appreciate the question. Okay. Speaking of the radio... Where is it? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness, guys. This yeah. Is... No, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way... These officers who know your problems for you... Well. We'll give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh, not now. We're we're looping again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I appreciate your humor, but this is gonna be bad. Clarissa! Yeah. Is there anything like? Can we cut her? <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Yeah, that's is something I... wrong? Look, Clarissa might be dead in there. Wh why? <laughs> we just heard her. Look, are you Never mind, just ignore me. All right. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, that's why maybe this Nona was the, the was... thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to I mean, she got it to kinda work, so yeah, it it only broadcasts within the within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? 
Jonas, we're in a loop. We already... just... it's okay. Knock yourself out. My goodness. That's what I was afraid of when they had me play Hangman. Clarissa? Clarissa, it's us. It's Alex. Where is Are she? Are you okay? Where is she? Alex, don't worry. She's like, I can never forget she's like, I am an American. There will be other ships and other souls. Oh, no, you don't. Sell. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not. It's not like we're. She. She was. She was like possessed. I. I, I just. I, I just. Uh, this is. Jonas, this is so horrible. <sighs> I don't... I don't even know what to... We... We should get to the others. I... I can't even imagine telling them. Or... Or how to tell them. I mean... I, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we... She knows me. This can't... Oh, God. And just the fact that I'm the one who... Who was here. And... Oh God. We'll... We'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. No, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? They told us. They told us not to mess with her. They told us to leave her alone. And I didn't. I bet... I bet I could have done that. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. Oh my... Oh my Christ, she's alive. Maybe she just... Maybe she just twisted her... Twisted something, or... Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broken every bone in her body. How'd she just get up and walk away? That door's this open. This isn't possible, because unless she's... She did just go through a... Sort of a temporal anomaly, a time thing. Maybe it screwed with what happened. Well, regardless, good news. Uh, yes, Jonas. Of course, it's good news that Clarissa isn't dead. Christ. That's not why I hesitated. Of course, it's good news if she's not dead. I'm just saying if. What you think she's a zombie now? Three seconds ago, you said she couldn't get up from that. Now you're leaping right into zombie. I'm not saying she's a zombie. I'm saying we don't know what she is currently. I found Ren first. This door was closed before, so I guess this is the way to go. Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Okay. Oh yeah, Vid, don't don't get spoiled on account of me. Thanks. Yeah, I'm beginning to feel like slight horror. It, it, I thought it was going to go like it, intense horror, you know? Oh, the flying spark. Thank you for following. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So we're supposed to go back to the comm tower. flickering oh man did we have we been through here yet did we get through here oh god what if I did the wrong thing yeah no mixing metaphor soup go play the game 
Oh no, we did. We did play this. We did this. Yes, we did this. Okay. Yeah, no, um, this is a game worth playing blind. Um, I think if it doesn't get much scarier than it is that I can play it without having nightmares, which was a concern of mine. Uh, yes, Nick, that is definitely a big benefit. Cause, cause like I knew like when we walked in and she was like hanged, that was like, that was my fear was that somebody was going to be hanged after they played hangman. So I was just like, like, Oh my God, are you serious? And like, actually no, but you know, All right. See, like, horror for kids I can handle reasonably well. Not great, but okay. It's like I couldn't ever play, um, or couldn't ever watch The X-Files, really, but there's a show called So Weird that was kind of like The X-Files for kids, like young teenagers. That I could watch when I was, like, college. Yeah, Black Rabbit, I did not either. Mayday. May. Oh, crap. This isn't. Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not. <sighs> Thank goodness. Ugh. My God. Is this what I sound like? <sighs> well, now we how know how can anyone are. stand to listen Let's to me all day. See how they're doing. Yeah. Oh my god, are you serious, Blue's Light? Yeah, I don't play- I don't play horror. This is, like, as close to horror as I've ever gotten. Can I go back to previous areas and not be screwed over forever? Hey, that's not that's not the one that I chose though. This is not okay. Is it 93? You hear this flute. Lovely. Yeah, it's okay, Ampy. But does it pass through time in the game? Or is time a story thing? This is the Sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kanaloa, the fourth spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. I'm not Steady, protective, sure. and ever vigilant of enemies, both foreign and domestic. This is the sentry, sculpted by... Okay, so I could just, like, I could just go wander back there to see if there's anything I missed. Thanks, Ampy. Let me know what you think of it. Yeah, that's the impression I got from time. Okay. Cause I don't mind wandering around. Okay, so that actually wasn't anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I feel like I'm actually getting a feel, and I might be wrong, but I feel like I'm kind of getting a feel for the way the horror and the supernatural work in this. So there's a door you guys pointed out that you weren't sure was open earlier? Is it this one? Was this it? Oh jeez. Have I been here? Yes, I have. Okay, thank goodness. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that was all right. Yeah. Okay. So we're all right. I do want to make sure that I get all of the anomalies because that 
seems like a good idea, I think. Whew. It's okay, LeBruff. Sometimes I am too. Let's see. I do not remember how to get there. All right. So that that'll that'll take me to the comp tower. Let me just get a sense for where I'm going and what I'm doing here. Have I been here yet? I'm like super afraid of screwing up the story. Oh, I've been here before. Okay. I think I got the epiph the anomaly. Epiphany field, yes. I really I like that track actually, the woods one. So apparently the sound design for this game was done by the same person who's done the the Times and Majora's Mask fan covers, which are, I think, some of the greatest fan covers I've discovered recently. And they are incredibly good at sound design because like a large, like this game hinges on sound design. Like, can you imagine trying to play this with no volume? Like. I think you would lose a lot of it. Yes. Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I Come. think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. Anything uh, good to report? Besides that you're still alive, which I'm glad. You know, don't get me wrong. Thanks. Um, yes, I am still alive, but, uh, no. Other than that, no. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope. No luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was going to be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged to. Okay, Ren. How have you tried? And have you tried it more than once? Hey, we've tried. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Hi, Dragon. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. Oh, what? my God. Kind of Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's- I cannot believe you. You're gonna keel over in like a purple haze while we try and save our lives. I'm gonna be fine. Last time I just ate too much. This was a gimme. It's baby food. Oh, God. Yay! Have I done this one yet? I thought it was 93. I want to know what that's saying. 1941 to 1972, this communications tower served many different telecommunication functions, including point to point from its receivers. Microwave from its dish, Ka band for satellite reception, and military air band for nearby aircraft. Unique in its construction, the tower houses its office in a segmented platform directly underneath its antenna and dish. Once unceremoniously called Site 82, in 1988 it was redesignated Hardin Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major Richard Dick Hardin, who served as the tower's communications officer for eight years. From okay. Yeah, no, Ren is basically Mr. Bad Decision. Oh my god, guys, are you not coming up here? Well, I'm glad that most of my friends don't seem to be dead. Even if they're like... Boys? Okay, you're coming. Okay, good. Come on, boys. Yeah, see, I was apparently never 12 because that was never my sense of humor. Nona, you didn't run off and get yourself killed. I'm very glad. Um, this thing doesn't work. 
Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was like weird earlier. But okay. hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like out there. Look, we tuned into something in the cave and it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And uh, ghosts. Yes, oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Oh my Maggie god. Adler. No, it's yeah. not. No. She has a boat. Had a boat. I mean... Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. Oh dear. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know. But the keys to it are here. Somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's oh, office in town. Oh, I see. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth <laughs> by the group's resident burnout. To be fair. Hey, hey, come on. Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop, <laughs> and these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that, I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. Is what? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Jonas, are you serious? This was your fault. Even a blind guy could flail it around and fault, bump actually. into that conclusion. You crawled into that hole. You got us stuck. Guys, come on. And you tuned into the triangle thing, Alex. So you can't... Yeah, I tuned into the triangle thing, which, by the way, I can't stand when you call it that, the triangle thing, <laughs> because you wanted me to. That's true. Even though I wasn't there, I, tried I have to stop no problem believing times. that. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws no, this whole wait, social no. army thing oh, we got going my God. on out of whack. I mean, we all... Okay, Ren, just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... he's a good guy. What?! Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. The stories I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are we even talking okay, about? Okay, you're arguing 15 things at once now. Do the plan, trust Jonas, leave Ren, like pick a target, or better yet, just don't. Yeah. Look, I don't care what caveman Jonas says. Oh, <laughs> there is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my... Like, brilliant oh, cool. idea oh, yeah, or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, yeah, you're sorry, a completely Ren, unreliable no. basket case. I am not a basket case. Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean, I guess. Why so are you making it? me shack up with it's this guy? It's my friggin' Be quiet. Both of you. God, you're like <laughs> puppies. You're not gonna die if I go to the grocery <gasps> store for ten minutes. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This'll be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. <sighs> hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. I mean, that was actually probably a terrible idea, but it seemed, in the heat of the moment, it seemed like the right thing to do. Hopefully they, I don't think they'll kill each other. I don't know. This might be my worst idea ever. Oh, man. Let's go get yelled at. Are you smoking or are you thinking? I still need you, Jonas, okay? So keep your knee pads on, mentally speaking. 
I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Dude, what did you think? You guys were, like, screaming at each other. Being both of you completely unreasonable. Like, seriously, boys. We're still friends, Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. Good luck with the thing, Alex. Oh well. Okay. I feel as though I made the decision that I would make as Alex. So whether it's the right game or the right the right the right decision for the best ending or not, it's the decision that feels like the one that I would make. Like once I started yelling, I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna take Nona. Which is not a good idea. She like freaks out easily. Well honestly like the boys are both being idiots, um, to a dangerous degree, I think. Well, now I'll get to know the character that I don't know so well. I feel sorry for Nona because, like, nobody takes her seriously. Nobody listens to her. Yeah, I don't, Jonas, I don't want, I don't want Ren to have any more time with Nona. Like, I don't know, just, everybody treats Nona badly. Like, nobody actually stops and asks, and I... I didn't do any better than this. Nobody stops and asks Nona what she actually wants. Like, everybody tells Nona what to do or how to feel. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, that is the other thing that I could see happening to me, to myself, Ishan, but that's not what happened because I made up my mind. I was like, okay, well, if you guys are gonna bicker, then I'm just gonna pick Nona, which is exactly how the game played it out because that's exactly what picking Nona in this situation is, so. <laughs> like Ryan likes Nona but he can't say why he likes Nona uh, Clarissa's always bossing Nona around um, I don't know you know I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class you sit in the uh, back behind Jake I just forgot I'm sorry oh hey it's it's nothing to be sorry about I don't talk all that much so I don't know why you remember me. I'm also just like never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention. And if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation. You can just do your work over. So, wait, if you don't really go to like class, huh. what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that, really? Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so... Well, happy early birthday! In my family, we celebrate birthdays all week, so you're four days late. I gotta get in the mind state. Thanks. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. I was thinking about... Uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa, and... Oh, jeez. Well, I was thinking about my last birthday when... You know, Actually, sorry. Never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. No, come on. I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency. It's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies, and she didn't have to do that. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh, yeah, I know. Well, that's interesting. That That is a weird dynamic that I'm vaguely familiar with. We do need to find her, though. I have no idea where on earth she could be. All right, so like, 
Harden Tower, Milner Outpost. So we don't want to go to Milner. 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 Outpost. Okay, so the characterization in this is really good. Do we want to go this way? I do not remember my way around. Like. Aha! Ha ha! Is this a thing? This, is, this looks like a thing. Doesn't it? I'm trying to make sense of the music here. Left the building in a dynamic way? What, what do you mean? Hey, Ben. The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. Well, that's a thing! I mean... Holy crap, that's a thing. <sighs> yeah, no kidding, Blues. No kidding. So somebody's talking to Alex, specifically. I don't think I'm gonna ignore that that happened. But, jeez. with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. This early version of what would today be considered a blast mm. and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. This is interesting. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath oh, the Earth's Jesus. surface, molded with layers of poured concrete. Well, that's a thing that we will absolutely not be doing. <laughs> Night, LeBruff. Yeah, I mean, I should probably. Shut down soon myself. But, uh... I'm gonna wander a little bit longer. Alright, so here's the gate. This is good. Now I know where things are, sort of. <laughs> I know, right, Balorn? The Adler Estate. Hello, Adler Estate. All right. God, just like the art is, it just, it's gorgeous. It's stylized, like these trees in the background. Beautiful. Like, it's just a really quality, oh, 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 oh. I wonder if this one's gonna be as upsetting as the last one. Which was, by the way, super not cool. Although not inaccurate in its statements about our national... ...history. First we will eat and drink, and then we'll go and see the girls, yes? Yeah? Yes. You see. 
good. We will eat. I don't know what that is, but that one's. How how many of you are there? That's my voice. How how many of you are there? I don't think that I've asked that question yet. So that's cool. Oops, wrong button. Uh, I think I want to go this way. No, actually, Serious Inc. Um, we had a really intense section at the very beginning of this stream. And then we had some really nasty truth bombs. Not actual truth, but dropped as though they were truth bombs. Um, stuff. All right. Basically. Oh, see, I just thought you said getting too intense instead of getting too out of intense. Although that's actually a good word mess up thing. Man. Oh. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was one? used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. Mm -hmm. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, hmm. assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Okay. See, I knew that I'd seen that before. Hey, Brother Mania! Thank you for the host! Um... Oh my god, I love the super 80s synthy stuff. Um... But yeah, see, I, I figured, I knew I'd, I'd probably heard that before, but I'm trying to remember the details that I might have once, like, that I, that I heard a little bit last time. Do I want to go this way? I want to get all of the anomalies. But, uh... This game is, like... Yeah, I should probably do the same, and I will soon. Thanks, Murder Mania, for the host. Have a good night. I hope you guys had fun. Yeah, no, it's like super 80s. It's pretty great. Oh, this is, um... Yeah, I'm anomaly hunting right now, too. Oh, man. Though, like... Even though they've got cell phones, apparently, it does not feel, it, it feels really like, it, it feels like an 80s science fiction thing. And the fact that they reference Carmen San Diego, like, I don't know that kids these days know who Carmen San Diego is. I was really delighted by that joke, though. That was pretty fantastic. Wait, but Nona wrote down that she was at the beach on that. Like when she like that graffiti thing. Well, we'll actually progress the plot at some point. Boy, this sure seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? Let's hope Clarissa's not actually dead, but also not like undead. Yeah, no, that's fair, Ben. I don't usually do spooky um, at all, but it turns out that this game is not as spooky as I thought it was going to be. So I respect your decision to not be here and I will catch you another time. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. I'm astonished that I am playing a thing that is too spooky for other people. Oh, look at that, there's another way. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do here. Yeah, no, it actually doesn't seem like it's that spooky. Like, there was a section that freaked me out last time. <clears throat> she could be alive. 
So, you know, Ben, so I'm super sensitive to spooky everything. Like, everything spooky, pretty much. Um, and there have been a few moments that I was like, this is not okay. But it turns out that it actually is okay. You just kind of have to get through. The sort of thing that, like, seems scary if you're like, oh, my God, you're going to kill a character. This is going to be awful and a bad guy is going to be terrible. But it's actually, like, there's a puzzle and it looks like it's freaking out. It looks like there's, like, a, an alien possessing you and you're like, oh, my God, my friend is going to die. But then you actually just, like, do the thing and it goes away. Yes, that happened, Dasmia. No, okay, there's, there's spooky and there's upsetting. Spooky, like... Scary, like, something that's messed up is not necessarily the same, but yeah. You know, it has, it has, it has tense, unsettling moments that seem spooky, but I've, I'm beginning to develop a certain degree of trust in the game that it's only going to go so far. We'll see. Um... I did have a character seem to be dead twice because there's this weird time loop thing happening, but but then she like seems like she might be okay. Yeah, see, soup. I felt like that was kind of. I agree with you. I felt like it was kind of commentary in a way. Um, yeah, I think suspense in mind games. I mean, it may turn out that it's still actually secretly scary, but um. Mostly, it seems to be that it feels scary. I'm, which, like, by all means, if you don't feel comfortable with this game, like, don't feel pressured to play or watch. Like, I did not know that I was going to be able to keep playing it. And, like, there are a lot of things that I'm like, you know, this is interesting, but peace out. Um, which I expected this to be. That is Nona with me. That's right. I left the boys behind because they were behaving like children. That's good, though. I've kind of gotten to know Nona and, by extension, a little bit about Clarissa. So... I should shut down soon, because I was up way too late last night. So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's nice. down a bit, right? Well, if I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah. I just hope Ren's not misremembering his sister's job or something. Nice. Oh, man. Yes, no, that's absolutely correct, Nick. They are, in fact, babies. All of them. They're teenagers. But I think even from the perspective of one of their peers, to be like, boys, you are behaving like babies. Cut it out. Well, I'm just going to take her. If you're going to bicker like children. Clarissa, what are you? How did she get up there? What are you doing? Oh, geez. Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Yes, that happened. Clarissa! Oh! Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't... Uh, this has just really lost its charm, I have to say. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Okay, so this is the spooky part. Uh, Clarissa! I can... Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you? Can you hear me? Okay, this could get bad, but if it's anything like this has happened Come on, just twice before, get her down. Please, and it's not, it hasn't here. been that bad, but it was pretty intense feeling. Clarissa, can you so. come down? Uh, she just looks awful. Yeah. <laughs> think you can control me? No, no, no. No. Clarissa, I'm I'm trying to help you. This is this way. Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. It, it's helped the others, Ren and Nona. They've gone through the same Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? Oh my god. Oh, thank you god. You scared the crap out of us. Holy I'm crap. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner 
And seeing you? That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? There's been like time disturbances oh, or geez. something. And I think that's what's been teleporting people around. So, and we just had one. Time disturbances. So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, wait, it's my wait, turn. What do you mean, it's we, Clarissa's turn we, already? Why are we here? I haven't here? even asked one question. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... No, wait, what, what is happening? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new step... <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and... I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. What is There's even happening? There's no other way this story goes. She creates- Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree That's reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Clarissa, just shut up! Look around! We're not at high school where anyone gives a crap about your pet miseries! Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last... God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. It doesn't make it my fault! Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick! Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough, Clarissa. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't... I can't... No, it was awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I... I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. That's so what I was let's of. get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the Alex and Free. Alex and Free. Whoa. Man, do you ever, do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Yes. I have gotten and presumably will continue Holy to get geez, deja vu. Holy this game. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like cold mouse feet on your skin or something. Okay, well, the office that we got to try to get into is like right there. So oh, let's geez. try and whatever our way in. Um, but like, what about Clarissa? No, but I mean like, wait, no, but like. We're going to try, we're going to try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key? Uh... But, yeah, no, like, Clarissa is pretty horrible. Alex, want to try and get the key for the gate? You know, the reason but, we're like, here? Clarissa, like, okay. They were down there, wait. Outs and free. I don't understand. I... Huh. Well, my main character is carrying the trauma of feeling like she is responsible for her brother's death. Yeah, I know, I know. I just, I am concerned is all. I am concerned about, like, all the things are concerning. My goodness. Okay. Well, we'll try the door. That's not gonna work. Yep, this isn't budging. Yeah. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think oh, we can just bust our way through, honestly. Jonas would be able to pick the lock. The lock looks pretty worn. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. All the oxen free, all the outs and free. I have no idea what that even means. 
All right, so let's do this. Oh. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Oh, that's cute. Mural. Okay, we'll do that. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says oh, they're geez. wall radios, wave assisted lock, whatever that means. Wow. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must. Uh, okay, cool. Great. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a. Wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Oh, Jesus. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna. Okay, here. To... Okay. Whom it should concern? This island and its history is a lie. Oh, jeez. Jeez. She didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? <sighs> I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others oh, so to conceal the many truths about Edward's gone island. Gone to hell because but of her. But now I feel any further inaction. Forces outside her control. Like... Ghosts yes. or the army or oh, geez, what was she talking what, what about? Is it? Let me finish then. Inside you'll find two wall equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <laughs> Wait. I'm Wait. glad that she's excited about to something. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. Huh. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Oh, Christ. This is... This is like literally a treasure map. Well, kinda. It's neat, but I don't know. We should probably just get home before we, like, die. Yes, that's true. Oh no, I missed. It is frustrating that I got cut off so I couldn't see the top of it. And I didn't get a chance to look at it. I wanted to look at the uh, cabinet. Like, Alex can get excited about the occasional thing. So there's some sort of secret that she's been holding here. Are those rocks? Like, I can't tell if this is a thing. But I have a super radio now. Sorry, guys. Oh, interesting, yeah. So I never heard the term oxen free before. Wow, there's a lot of channels on this radio. Holy cow. Sorry, guys. But I want to know if there's an anomaly here, which I guess there isn't. Everything becomes an antique eventually. Everything becomes interesting and strange and weird and just okay. Well, that's a thing.
What do you mean, Sam? The, uh, the radio? I should shut down soon. I really should. So I wonder, does that mean that every screen is going to have its own message there? Oh, wait, everything becomes an antique because something's in the antique shop. This is the antique shop. Aha. Oh, my God. The, the Kanaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. Oh, wow. Okay. A technician of the Walter Roy. Oh dear. Well, that's bad. My goodness. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, I hear I hear you, Sam. Yeah. No, be one thing if it was like every Especially because I just backtracked to places a bit to see if I could find the, uh, the what's they're called. So I should shut down and get ready for bed. Come on, Nona. So is, is Oxenfree, like, saying, like, come out, come out wherever you are? Yeah, no... That would definitely make more sense, Sam, and I would be happier about that. All right, let's go ahead and shut down tonight. Um, this is not as as bad as I thought it was going to be. I uh, I admit I was a lot more concerned at the end of last stream than I am now. Hmm. Interesting. Does that mean there's going to be like... Oh. Huh. Okay. Well. It is really interesting, Dreadkiller. It is an interesting game. I think I'm going to forego playing Dance Dance Revolution tonight. Um, but yeah. See, Ben, that's, that's as spook as it gets. As far as I can tell. So when you're like... Like, oh my god, is it going to be, is it going to be okay? Like, now I, like, mostly have faith that it's going to be okay. Um, which means that it could just pull the rug out from under me. Because I feel like I'm beginning to, because part of the, the, part of the thing with horror is, like, if it's, um, like, once you establish the rules, you're like, okay. It's kind of like when you're playing Majora's Mask and you play your first 72 hours and you freak out. Um, and then... And you're like, oh my god, this game is going to be so intense and scary and hard. And it turns out it's actually not that intense unless like something goes wrong. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, but it turns out that it's not actually as scary now. If it, if it pulls the breaking the rules thing, that works very well in horror. I do not want this to actually be a horror game if it is a spooky game. With, like intense moments but like now I'm like okay no I'll be all right we'll be fine all of my party members I think will live I hope I don't know I'm trying to tell this is the sort of game that will actually kill on screen characters or not um so there's still because like well, if you're like nobody's gonna die in the story you you approach things differently um so I don't know but I totally I think I'm totally right about a lot of my speculation about what was going on yeah, yeah, no, that's, I'm sure that's totally the rule of horror, but I don't play horror, which is why I don't want this to be horror. I want this to be slightly spooky, slightly spooky, but not like all the way spooky. It is uncomfortable. And, and, and I first, I thought that maybe the, uh, maybe the enemies were just, um, trying to force me to help them, but they seem like they might be a bit more malicious, which the information that we just got might indicate part of why they might want to be malicious um, or feel maliciously towards 
um, towards us. But yeah, mystery game with horror elements. Okay, I'll I'll go with that. Like that that seems reasonable. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow is Dark Souls, and then Friday I'm not streaming at all because I'm unless I feel like playing more oxen free. Uh, I'm gonna go watch Pride and Prejudice at the university where I work. They're putting it on, and I'm excited about it. So we're gonna go see that play. Um, yes, yeah. See, I don't, I don't play horror games because I would never get comfortable with them. That's the thing is that there'd always be something in there that would work on me. Um, okay, so, so playing a horror game, so basically don't relax and then it won't ever catch me off guard by messing up with that. That is an interesting point, Dreadkiller. You're right. Maybe I shouldn't get complacent. Um, but also for like my own ability to play the game, I have to kind of like... Be able to be like, okay, I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. But I'm sorry, like, apparently I was like all the way over here. I don't know if I was like in frame. If I'm ever like not in frame, be like, Lauren, scooch to the side because you're not in frame. But like, scooch, scooch, scooch. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh man. This is a good game. I'm very impressed with it. Um, I'm very pleased that it exists. Uh, does that help? I don't know. Does that help? Does that help? figure this out figure this out eventually anyway yes i will shut down now i know all of you guys i don't know if there's anybody new in here if there is anybody new in here thank you so much for watching and sticking around for a weird little indie game maybe we'll beat it next time i don't know but it's kind of a fun thing to pick up and play a little bit of it at a time and I, if i don't have nightmares tonight then we're good so yeah um well i am glad to hear balorn that people missed us that PAX South this year. We missed being at PAX South this year, but it was, I think it's only fair to let other people have that experience. So I don't want to be that greedy. Anyway, yes. Good night, everybody. I'll see some of you guys for Dark Souls tomorrow and have a good day and keep your heads together and your chin up and your hearts warm and your socks on your feet. Bye.